Hey, hey, superstars. Happy Sunday. How are we? How are we? It has been a beautiful day. I meant to get this to you earlier today, but um, in case any of you didn't see, I was at um, Dr. Espen's presentation today up Sunshine Coast. Mind-blowing. It was really awesome to speak to someone who's so renowned and who is on such a great level and who also understands epigenetics and the role that they play in the key fundamentals of success in all areas of your life. So it was totally awesome to be like jamming, you're having conversations and he actually wants me to send him through a bunch of information on PH360 itself because he has heard of it but hasn't had a chance nor the uh, drive to look at it just yet. But he said, send me through everything you have. I am so ready. This is obviously a sign. Woohoo! Anyway, so... Tonight's context, tonight's conversation. Um, if you have not yet, please do your measurements. If you have done that, then you need to make sure... Right, so if you're having troubles with that, I have the document, Word document within the group that will help um, step you through that step by step. Um, the more you are interactive in this group, the more you get involved, the more you will get out of it. Now, quite a few of you... Um, have not yet jumped into day one and had a look at that one. It's nothing too substantial, but it's at least keeping you accountable and letting you know what needs to be done when, why, and how. Hello, whoever is joining on. Hello. Um, so a few questions have come through from a few of you today, which is awesome. I can see that Talia is a sensor. This is exciting. I knew Talia was either a sensor or a crusader when I first met her. So to see it confirmed is awesome. Um, and what that means is our senses are more about analytical people. They are the ones who are very much in their brain. Their brain was the main part of the body that actually, it was the ectoderm that formed first in the womb that was most dominant throughout um, childbirth, throughout the, 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 the hormonal changes through the beginning of life. So she became more of an ectomorph, which is um, then segregated into the crusader or the sensor. And so the sensor is our um, more delicate bodies, more delicate mind. You'll see them having a little more, slightly more of a hunch over persona. Um, they're usually a lot quieter, analytical. They'll sit back, they'll walk into the room and they'll kind of analyze everyone and everything. And they usually, without actually realizing it, they're actually looking for the threat in the room right? They're already knowing that because their body may not have the strength or the capabilities that everybody else has in the room, they know that they are the one that is most at danger or risk of uh, threat or damage. So they are always working, walking into a room with um, analysis of the dangers, analysis and checking in on where the exit points are um, so that they can always be keeping themselves safe first. Because if any sign of trouble, they are the first ones out the door. And that is nothing bad. Like That's actually really smart. They just understand that physiologically, their body does not necessarily have the capabilities of, say, like me, like Amazonian. So, and they're usually, a lot of my friends are sensors. Um, and uh, actually, I might jump in right now with a cool story that will help bring this into perspective of the, of the grandiose concept of us co-creating and, and loving and honoring and understanding each other and and how our physiological strengths and weaknesses work together. She is a, a girlfriend of mine is a center and is a accountant and an amazing whiz. She's just, she's one of those people that analytically with computers and whatnot will pick up things and just roll with it. And she's so wonderful and so methodical and logical. So we went to a beach party, a beach farewell, I think it was for a girlfriend of ours. And her and her daughter were down there at the beach. They finally came down. She said, you know, this is the first time this year, this season that we've been to the beach. And her daughter was over the moon her daughter was an activator i'm sure of it i'm so sure of it her daughter is an activator she's like challenging the world and she's so excited but because her mother is a sensor and is so fine and delicate her and her daughter i hope i don't get teary her and her daughter had never actually experienced getting into the waves um since her partner and, and her had split uh, it had been uh, a good i think it was six or seven years at that point um since they'd been to the beach and had that support to be able to go into the waves and enjoy that experience um so here i am behind a mother and daughter they're like a wave in front of me and they're the daughter's like yeah let's do it and the mom's like oh my god oh my god and they're like i've got you i'll catch you and there's quite a few times that the wave would catch both the mother and the daughter and i was there to scoop them both up and stand them up and, and keep them going. And the daughter was just like, you could see this energy, this personality coming out. And she's like, yeah, I'm invincible. And, and the mum was in tears because she was like, I've never seen her feel so amazing and confident. And the mum was just so grateful that her and I were able to sit there and be um, in that moment for her daughter to experience that. Um, and it was really, really beautiful just to be a part of that. So that's how like our strengths can be so perfect together. 
so perfect when we can just love and honor our shapes and our physiological abilities and um, and what we can offer each other <laughs> then we have mandy thank you thank you thank you for jumping in and doing your work and um letting everyone know that you were a diplomat and mandy has been in the process before and she's just using it as a booster oh actually before i go on sorry i'm so so sorry so um also talia her power hour has been one between one and two a.m so talia uh, has still got a fair bit of diplomat in her so she's quite close to the diplomat um, and this means that her brain is still analytical and but she still has a quite a bit of um, the endocrine so endomorphs have more of an endocrine bone density um, some lung issues and whatnot so she's still got a fair bit of diplomat in her uh, that's what the 1 to 2 a.m. really tells me is that she needs to make sure that she is not up too late um, she needs to be asleep in those hours and getting in her thorough um, alpha state sleep um, so that she is able to really rest and repair that overactive mind so nighttime ritual is really really important for her to ensure that she's getting to bed at a good hour um, and relaxing the mind um, for for Talia it would definitely be things like nighttime yoga and meditation 100% um, uh, and with your yoga really focusing on the breath work Mandy is a 4 to 5 a.m. diplomat so this means that her body if she is waking between 4 and 5 a.m. and she's experiencing any kind of hormonal imbalances if she is experiencing any kind of uh, night sweats or anything like that it's something to really start looking into because it could be eating too late, eating too heavy um, at night time. Um, potentially it's a hormone disruption, uh, extreme stress, things like this. There's a fair few things we can look into. And that's why really honoring our chronobiology is essential. No one else has popped up there with theirs yet, which is cool. You've all got time, but get your shit together and get it done. Um, it's really awesome. I had someone else reach out today and speak to me about what is the best time of day for me to sit and do my work is there a best time going off what they say so i want to jump back in i'm going to switch the camera around in a second and we're going to quickly come in here tonight so um if anybody has any questions coming up about their profile and about their detox please let me know so that you can all understand greater what is uh, available for you so this is your dashboard everybody if you have not yet this is where your 10-day booster is sitting you enter into that it goes view plan and I want to make sure some people of you have said I don't understand where my detox is so you're going to come into this section here I'm going to view my plan online so you guys can see it right now take a quick sip of my tea oh diplomats and tea this is my cup, my gigantic cup, and I have four tea bags in there because I just go and keep filling them up. Tea is my best friend, especially when detoxing. Um, so in here, you'll see this has some really good chit chat to you about your detox and the process, each of the different health types, a little bit of assimilation between each of the different health types. You know, scroll all the way down here and you will see your program schedule for me as a diplomat i have got 10 days of detoxing so what does that mean no real snacking unless you really 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 want it you can eat as much fruits and vegetables for a diplomat as you would like but it's a lot about fresh fruits vegetables salads especially green leafy vegetables i'm going to upload in a minute a video of um, what i've prepped for the next couple of days for myself really making if we're looking to lose weight then you should avoid all oils nuts seeds in your salad dressings as you detox so use fruit juices use vegetable juices use um, some roasted or steamed veggies pureed down this is then going to tell you your daily schedule that is your little Bible. Now, how does it get specific to you? How is this personalized health if this is a template for the health types? I'm glad you asked. If you then come in here to your food list, into your food, oh yeah, food, sorry, and into your food list. Now, when you're detoxing, so I'm detoxing, but let's have a look at what my top vegetables are. Brussels sprouts. Okay, so immediately I can see that right now I'm detoxing. I'm not going to have uh, lentils. I can use green onions in each and every one of my salads if I so choose. And basically in your main food list, whatever sits here is your ultimate, ultimate vegetables. These are the top of the list for my ultimate health. If I was to fill each of my bowls with some of this, I would be living out my most ultimate health. So your detox is going to conspire, consist of, sorry, um, everything you can from this list. So for me, Brussels sprouts is high. Broccoli is high. 
Capers are high. They're great in salads for adding different flavors. I would rinse them though. Radishes are high, which is in my salad. Kale, um, spinach, choice sum, plums, radish, cabbage, artichoke, Romanian lettuce, chives. So I can be making a salad. If, look, if I added in all of these different herbs, the parsley, chives, garlic, uh, what do we got? Rosemary, we've got sage, garlic, basil, cumin, thyme, green onions and leeks. So I could be sauteing down my leeks and sprinkling that through each and every one of my salads. At night time, I could be making some steamed Brussels sprouts, some steamed broccoli um, with capers across it, some spring onions and some cooked up leek. Yum. With some a type of whatever vinegar is at the top of my list. Um, if you are on juicing and you're one of the health types that is juicing, you will be finding the top fruits and vegetables in here. You can juice cabbage. You can juice celery. You can juice, um, let's have a look here. This is not someone who's juicing, by the way. This is someone who's salading. Uh, you can juice zucchini. You can juice nectarines. You can juice all these fruits and vegetables. So if you're someone who's juicing, you are going to take all of your top fruits and vegetables and find cool ways of juicing, which you can find recipes in the recipe section. I am salading, so I'm going to be looking at different ways of making cool salads. Right? Then, someone was asking about how do I do my chronobiology? How do I know what time of the day to do everything? If you go into lifestyle, you will see that there is a chronobiology wheel right here. And alongside it is each of the different time frames in which you are best to, to do those things. You then click on the view detailed schedule and it's going to drop down and give you mind blowing understanding of what's actually available. And throughout the year, this will chop and change through every season, whether you change your location and all these sorts of things, these things will change. This is why having a full year membership is so fundamental because your life, your body will chop and change. And every three, six, 12 months, you will continue to keep measuring your body and these things will change. Okay. Maybe you're a bit overweight at the moment. And as you lose weight, your body becomes more social. Your mind becomes more free and happy so you're not needing certain restrictions and your body's not sitting the same as it used to so these things will change so between my genius chronobiology you can see here it's time for me to organize in the morning do some movement work through the 12 to 2 have a break between 2 to 4 maybe this is a good time for me to be reading a book or studying doing something that's kind of useful but not you know, maybe i might want to meditate here which i normally do um use my heaviest mental work between four and six and focus between six and eight create between eight and ten and reflect between ten and twelve this is my personal overview of my genius times then if i have a look at my lifestyle um avoid stress plan in the morning be active exercise between three and six don't nap between five and seven now this is going to be really relevant if you're a diplomat endomorph like diplomat guardian and you're waking up too damn early because life is just life and you're finding yourself being tired at this time it means that something is happening here in this morning time that is causing stress chaos and pretty well asking your body's kind of getting to this time here in the afternoon where it's going yo I am tapping out. You are just asking too much of me because ultimately these are the time of the day where your body is meant to be picking up pace and getting your shizness together and charging on into your day. So start to question, are you living habitually or are you honoring your body at this point in time? Your fitness also has its own chronobiology wheel. Again, with an, if you click on the view detailed schedule down the bottom here, you'll hear, see some more information about that. For me, it's um, winding down, keeping it light, tie yourself out between three and six. Um, moderate is good between 12 and three. So this is my fitness regime, how to move my body. For me, I want to be doing lunchtime meetings and active social stuff during the middle of the day. And this is when I'd be like trying to find ways of doing things whilst I'm doing meetings and conversing with people. Food is the same. You have an overview that gives you your chronobiology. Understanding here is avoid snacking, avoid eating, alternate dinner time, dinner between six and eight. You'd work from the top to the bottom. But anyway, this is going to help you to understand how to structure your day. Um, I will, uh, well, in, in the full program we do go through, I have a great little um, section where you can actually layer these on top of each other and create a full day structure honoring all parts of yourself and what that can look like. So um, 
I hope this has given you guys a bit more understanding of today. Please make sure if you have not yet, get in here and fill out your, guys, day one, what is your health type? Please go back to this video. What is your health type? Hashtag your health type. Um, and answer those questions that I've got at the top here when you click down more. Go through that one, share, care, get involved and get the most out of this because you are worth investing in. Love you guys to pieces.